How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back to yet another review. Um, yeah, Imperial Coffee Stout time in the form of Black Xanthus. Xanthus? Xanthus. Xanthus. It's Xanthus. Just screwing up what I say. Anyway, um, yeah, super excited to give this a whirl. Uh, a couple people I know are, uh, love this beer, Paul. Um, and uh, just never picked it up for some reason. And the other day I was at my little bo local bottle shop and figured I'd give it a whirl. Um, so I figured I'd grab it and review it and here we go um never had a humble brewing uh beer before or nectar ales beer before whatever you want to call it it says nectar ales on here it says humble brewing online i looked it up uh fairly quick just to get an idea of what kind of beer it is because it's just this imperial stout and i guess it's imperial stout brewed with coffee um and aged in three different barrels uh bourbon a firestone walker union barrel and um lime barrels it's in, in blended i believe so it's kind of a nice uh nice blend going on there hopefully uh so we'll see what the sucker has to offer as far as what it says on the label imperial stout black xanthus nectar ales established in 1987 special limited release 11 alcohol 11 percent alcohol by volume brewed and bottled by nectar ales and that's pretty much it yeah nothing else going on uh label wise it's cool i dig it uh i don't know why i never picked it up because it's kind of in the label got a nice little foily top thing going on here um but yeah i dig it so it's probably a price point. It was uh, $17 for a bomber. It's a little bit pricey. It's probably why I never picked it up. And uh, like I said, I was at my local uh, to-go place. I saw it um, and uh, figured, why the hell not pick one up? So yeah, I'm not sure what year this bottle is. I assume, I mean, this has to be just, I'm going to guess minimum three years at least on the shelf, if not longer, because um, that's how long I think I've seen them there. So, um, let's see. Let's see. I'm expecting this to come out black as black. Oh, you know, it's pretty damn dark, but it's not super, super black. And yeah. For some reason, I expect it to come out real, real dark. Um, finger full of decently creamy top. Um, coffee, what well, I like my coffee to look like, coffee colored head. And um, body wise, like I said, it's dark. Pretty dark, but there's just a little bit of color around the edges of it, a little bit of brown, more brown than a ruby red. Yeah, looks like an imperial stout. Let's see what she smells like. Wow, coffee. The barrels there, not a ton of bourbon, but you can just get that huge barrel there. Nice little um, bit of smoky barrel char to it, too. <sighs> a nice roasted malt. And just like a richness, almost like a chocolate, like a dark, dark chocolate richness to it. It smells pretty damn nice, I'll tell you right now. Um, tastes like it's going to be a little bit drying, um, a little bit dry in the mouth. Um, but overall, it, uh, it smells pretty damn big and pretty damn rich. So yeah, it looks nice. It smells fantastic. Let's see what she has to offer. Cheers. pretty damn good beer yeah first thing you get is a nice sweetness nice rich dense sweetness almost like a mix between a nice stout with a little bit of bourbon added to it follow that by chocolate a nice chocolate like I said a, ditch, a rich dark chocolate Has this really nice mouth feel to it. Definitely not thin. Not the thickest beer in the world, but definitely not thin. And then it literally finishes with the richest, like, mocha coffee you could possibly imagine. And it builds. Like, right now I haven't, you know, I swallowed it probably about, like, 10, 15 seconds ago, and it's still building with the, uh, the amount of, like, that mixture of, like, roasted... It, almost like espresso coffee with a nice chocolate mixed into it and it's just not going anywhere it's still as flavorful right now as it was 20 30 seconds ago not going away this is actually pretty damn good beer uh it's gonna produce that that's pretty uh pretty awesome um like i said decent amount of barrel there not a ton of bourbon but it's kind of on the front definitely get a little bit more in the middle 
And then finishes with that uh, nice coffee, man. Oh, God. Wow. Talk about coffee. Mm. That's so weird because it's, it's like, like I said, roasted malt sweetness in the front. A little bit of bourbon, a little bit of booziness to it in the middle. It's like nice chocolate, chocolateiness to it. Not as sweet. And then it just finishes with that roasted chocolate coffee and it's so huge it just doesn't go away it's almost like you don't want to take another sip you want to take another sip just kind of make that build um but it, it definitely lingers and doesn't go anywhere for a long time that's probably one of the best finishing beers i've ever had as far as just retaining flavor which is not going anywhere um rating wise i would give it a 95 um just that good of a beer yeah absolutely great probably should rate a little bit higher even though but uh yeah to, absolutely fantastic beer 95 overall um value and availability uh i can get it i can go to my local place and i can grab one if i want to so for me it's going to be an eight for availability but i haven't seen it anywhere else so your mileage may vary but right now if you're in northeastern pennsylvania and you want one you can get one um as far as value you know it was 17 dollars uh for a bomber uh when i picked it up or when i didn't pick it up for the longest time i was kind of hesitant about it because i was like yeah 17 bucks having it now you know um, not that hesitant to pick it up again. Uh, um, it's just that good of a beer. Uh, still would like the price point to be a little bit smaller, but you're talking about barrel aging a beer, three different barrels, you know, going to the lengths to make something this good. You know, you can't fault it for being at that price point, you know. Um, it's definitely, um, it, it, you know, it's brewed, I believe it was brewed at Firestone Walker. Um, could be wrong. Um, I believe they brewed it at their facility. Um, you can if that's the case, you can definitely taste the barrel aging influence from them, especially using one of their barrels. Um, and it's very reminiscent of a lot of Firestone Walker beers, uh, whether it be Parabola, para, para, sorry, uh, PNC, stuff like that. It's, I think it's very in line with that. And uh, if I were to tell you, hey, I got uh, those two beers for 17 bucks a pop, I think I could sell those all day long. So, yeah, this is definitely on par with those beers. Absolutely fantastic. It's really nice. I mean, if you're into coffee stouts, I'm going to tell you right now, you should really go out of your way to try to track this down. Um, absolutely fantastic beer. With that finish and how long it lingers and it, the fact it does not go anywhere is amazing. It's just like builds before it even slowly dissipates away. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, so yeah, coffee stouts, uh, you're into barrel aged beers. Like I said, barrel's there, it's present. It's not overpowering, but it has a huge influence in it. It's not like a more barrel than booze from the barrel, but that mixture of those three barrel or barrels, you can kind of tell is there because it's hard to pinpoint whether it's, you know, bourbon, wine, or whatever, or the Firestone Walker Union Barrel. I just taste this uh, melange, this uh, mixture of just this barrel, this barrel craziness going on. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you're into barrel aged beers, if you're into coffee stouts, if you're just into great beers, um, you owe it to get owe it to yourself to give it a whirl. And like I said, if you're into Firestone Walker's barrel aged program, this is uh this is very reminiscent of a lot of stuff they do. So yeah, absolutely fantastic beer, 95 overall, value and availability, mileage may vary, and uh, just a great beer overall. So yeah, another review down. Hopefully, guys, you uh, enjoyed the review as much as I did. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, and like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. If you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped. Massive beers in all four of those places. And um, yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a beautiful barrel-aged beer right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.